Also at the Capitol this week, a freshman lawmaker reached a new milestone. Governor Doug Burgum signed one of Representative Ruth Buffalo's first bills into law, and there could be more to come. As we continue our month-long series celebrating women, tonight we look at Representative Buffalo. December 3rd, Representative Ruth Buffalo, a member of the MHA Nation, was sworn in as the first Native American female Democrat to get elected to State House. I'm still learning and I know there's so much work to be done, so I, I do feel that I hit the ground running. In her first session, Representative Buffalo is the primary sponsor on eight bills. If you look at all of the bills that I've introduced, it's mainly looking at um, keeping our community safe and also looking at our most vulnerable, you know, our women and children. Only one of those eight bills has failed so far. She's done very well. Indian Affairs Commission Executive Director Scott Davis. For those bills to get passed, uh, coming from um, freshman legislators and uh, a minority group, uh, you're going to need bipartisan sponsorship on that. A number of the bills address Native American issues. Her just having a seat at the table and voicing, making our voices heard, um, as well as other North Dakotan voices heard um, that have been underrepresent, upper, underrepresented um, is a great thing. Three bills specifically address the problem of missing and murdered people. I feel like I'm just doing um, doing what's asked of me. People approach me, it doesn't matter which nationality. Um, I'm here to represent all North Dakotans and the demographics in North Dakota is changing. Her work on the issue even sent her to Washington, D.C. last week to testify on behalf of Savannah's act. Our eyes were open to the very real threat before us. She said Savannah Graywin's case continues to inspire her work as a lawmaker. Having experienced that firsthand, it definitely has sparked a um, constant reminder that we must do better. And after just a few months on the job, one of her bills has already become law. Another one of her bills was passed just today. It aims to improve law enforcement training regarding missing and murdered Native Americans. It still needs the governor's signature.